the speed as an advantage is not new. Over the course of 700 years, the Romans built and maintained a system of roads extending over 55,000 miles. They built it to enable speedy communications and the quick movement of troops and supplies across the vast expanses of the global empire. Today, our perception of time and speed is being shaped and confused by technology. A person might say they live five minutes from town, but is that calculated by walking, riding a bike, or driving a car? In the Roman era, their military calculations were determined by a standard measurement based on how far and fast a soldier could walk on a stone road carrying their equipment. It was about 20 miles per day. Today, digital technologies compress our perception of time, speed, and space while expanding our expectations of what can be accomplished in the given time period. We expect to complete the equivalent of one hour of shopping in a supermarket in five minutes online. These changes significantly impact the way businesses must operate in a digital era to compete and remain relevant. In a shareholder letter from a few years ago, Jeff Bezos identified one of Amazon's key competitive advantage as high speed decision making. In one research project I worked on, many of the participants were from technology and consulting firms. As a group, they identified the pursuit of speed as a key motivation for digital transformation. In particular, those surveyed identified the following areas of need. Speed developing new products and services to meet customer demands. Speed going to market with new products and services. Speed responding to changing market conditions and customer preferences. Speed adopting and implementing new innovations and technologies. When asked about the biggest challenge their customers are facing with digital transformation, respondents in another survey answered using all kinds of references to speed or lack of speed. Issues related to legacy systems are too slow. Iterative approaches are too slow. Technologies are evolving too fast to react and their responses were too slow. Business strategy alignment was too slow. And the consensus among the technology leaders surveyed, however, was that the biggest mistake leaders make is moving too slow. We learned four key points. One, technology performance. Most executives felt their IT infrastructures were a disadvantage to their business. The limitations of their IT infrastructure limited the speed they could respond to changing conditions. They saw their internal systems as a hindrance, not a help. We also found a series of legacy rules inside the data. The longer an organization is in business, the more complex the technology infrastructure becomes and the more difficult it is to change. They lose agility and speed the longer they're in business. These limitations prevent businesses from changing at the speeds required to remain relevant. And limitations often impact a business's options and their potential strategies. The size of a company's IT challenge is directly proportional to the number of legacy and custom solutions they use. Number two, organizational agility. The speed at which an organization can change directions its agility is critical to success in a fast-changing digital world. The lack of organizational agility has real-world consequences. We missed revenue opportunities, said one of the participants. Agility doesn't happen by accident. An agile organization must be purposely developed to act and react with speed to changing market conditions and consumer behaviors. Agility requires a business model, platform, and ecosystem with the right organizational culture and IT infrastructure capable of responding with speed. Number three, leadership decision-making. It takes real-time speed to support real-time interactions with real-time digital customers. 
Decision making must be automated to support these digital speeds and environments. Four, the last one, customer alignment. Fast changing customer behaviors were identified as a top motivation for digital transformation. Consumers today are changing their habits and behaviors at an extraordinary rate. An executive we interviewed said our customers' expectations are always three to four steps beyond us. We are always behind. Businesses today must measure and track the speed and pace of changing consumer preferences and behaviors and align resources and priorities to ensure they are transforming, if not at the same pace, at least at a pace ahead of their competition. 